before you connect your electromagnetic conductor to end circuit, the first test is to check the resistance of the coil. The resistance of the coil, we measure it from A1, A2, start of the coil and end of the coil. Set our multimeter to ohms and now measure. The resistance of the coil is 0 0.405 kilo ohms. Different conductors as coils with different resistances depending on the design and the size of the electromagnetic conductor. In case you measure between a 1 and a 2 and you get a value of 0, know that the coil is short circuited inside. Don't use that conductor. If you also measure and get infinite, what we call over limit in the multimeter, you should know that there is an open circuit in the coil. The coil is not continuous. So don't use that conductor. So we can see our conductor is okay because it is reading 0 0.4 kilo ohm. It is not reading zero or infinity. The second test is to see the continuity of these conducts. Set your multimeter to continuity mode. When there is no power supply between a one and a two of the coil, the conductor is not energized. And between terminal one and terminal two, there should be no continuity. Between terminal 3 and terminal 4, there should be no continuity. You can see there is no continuity. Between terminal 5 and 6, there is also no continuity. Between terminal 13 and 14, there is no continuity because these are all normally open terminals. If you want to test if it is supporting an auxiliary conductor, this is an auxiliary. An auxiliary conductor has two terminals, one normally closed and normally open. Let's connect our auxiliary conductor like that. Now, terminal 53 and 54 is a normally open. There should be no continuity. You can see there is no continuity. Terminal 61 and 62 in our auxiliary is normally closed. There should be continuity. You can see there is continuity. You can remove the auxiliary conductor. Use a power cord to supply your electromagnetic conductor with power. We have connected our face to A1 and we have connected our neutral to A2 so that we can energize the conductor by supplying the coil with the power. Now we connect our adapter to power and switch on. You can see our conductor has been energized. When our conductor is energized, there should be continuity because these are all normally open. Now they have closed. There should be continuity between T1 and T2. You can see there is continuity. There is also continuity between 3 and 4, you can see. There is also now continuity between 5 and 6. And there is also continuity between 13 and 14. Between 13 and 14, there is now continuity, you can see. We switch off our conductor, add the auxiliary, and then switch on power again. And test the conducts. Conduct 53 and 54 is normally open, so now it should be closed. You can see it is now closed. Terminal 61 and 62 is normally closed. It should be now open because the conductor is energized. Now you can see it is open. So we have confirmed that this conductor is okay. 